it's time for Soapbox Sunday. I'm back to get on my soapbox and rant about the uh, IWC, YWC uh, problems that I've seen uh, here on YouTube and the rest of the internet wrestling community. And today's problem that I have is the uh, blatant disregard for everything that is been done by the game Triple H. Uh, not just his uh, in-ring performance, but his backstage performance. People want to, want to say that he's uh, sucked up and kissed ass and uh, Millie the Boss's daughter and all kind of things just to get in to power and to control the WWE and do whatever he wants to no matter what anybody thinks and so forth and so on but if you really think about it since John Laurinaitis has left his position as the uh, executive head of talent relations or whatever he was and Triple H has been put in that position Think of the things that have changed. We have a notable tag team division. Well, there's actually a tag team, a real unified, a real uh, established team is the tag team champions, the Shield, Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins. We have numerous uh, I wouldn't say it was like I wouldn't call it a huge roster, but there is at least uh, a few tag teams, notable tag teams like the Usos and uh, the Primetime Players, Tons of Funk, and uh, the now the Wyatt family. Have, a, have arrived. There's actually a tag team division to speak of. Plus, we have the what the U.S. title being defended well, uh, on a regular basis by uh, Dean Ambrose, who's actually giving the title some prestige, in my opinion. Plus, the Intercontinental title. Uh, Held, held by, um, Curtis Axel is actually being defended on a regular basis and given some sort of prestige considering how he's been put, put, presented, presented being a Paul Heyman guy. And we actually have a, uh, in my opinion, a stronger watchdog than I've seen in past incarnations where John Laurinaitis was picking guys that and frankly didn't have any reason to be in the ring. The only reason he had them on the show was because, was because they looked good and they had uh, they were big and muscular and that's all Laurinaitis and Vince McMahon cared about. Triple H is actually giving us guys and presenting guys that actually have real talent. He's actually gone out and instead of hiring a bunch of bodybuilders, he went to the Indies. Well, people say that there's more talent on the Indies, and I agree with that. There's a lot more talent on the Indies than there are in the mainstream wrestling companies, like, oh, at least War and the WWE and TNA. Well, you have Wing of Honor and PWG and Noah and all these other companies that have way better talent in and out of the wing. Uh, with the, I'm not gonna say it's all Triple H, it's all his doing, but since you have to admit, since he's come in, they've really done a lot to build the, to build up and make, uh, Hire better people 
like high up at all. So let's see what's those. And put set them in a way. Well, they actually uh, make some sort of sense. And they, uh, in my opinion, put on a better show than, they, than WWE had to the best. And I'm not saying that they're absolutely perfect right now because there are a lot of things in WWE I don't particularly agree with. Considering where it where it came where they were in the past under John Laurinaitis, Triple H is a, is doing tremendous things tremendous things for the WWE right now, and I just hope somewhere down the line, McMahon realizes that he doesn't that uh he needs to step down at some point and give. Triple H full control of the company because, in my opinion, the way things are going right now, if Triple H gets full control, then uh, don't agree with him to be nothing but better for it. But that's my opinion, and I'm gonna and now I'm gonna get down off my soapbox and listen and uh, give you give you guys a chance to comment, like, or subscribe. And check out that Jake the Snake uh, petition I have at the bottom of in the in, in the uh, description box. Get Jake the Snake into the 2014 WWE Royal Rumble. He's really cleaned up his life. He's, uh, from what I can tell, he's off drugs. He's uh, in <laughs> tremendous shape considering where he came from. Well, he was previously before getting help from DDP. Uh, and he, all he wants is one last uh, day of the sun. I think he deserves it. He doesn't need to win the World Rumble. He doesn't need to be the last one standing or be in the last two or three or whatever. Just give Jake what he deserves. One last day of the sun. And please sign that petition if you're a Jake the State fan. And that's the end of this video. Like, subscribe, and sign the petition. Thank you.